Welcome to the Bison Suit Measurement Tutorial video. My name is Robert Lackey, I'm the co-founder of Bison, and today I'm gonna to help walk you through this process. Just a couple things before we get started. First and foremost, open and study the measurement diagram with your measurement partner. You can find this in your order confirmation email if you've already ordered, or you can go to Measurement Central at bisontrack.com and download this form. When you open it, you're going to find a detailed diagram of each measurement point, and you'll find it very helpful during the process. The next step is to open the suit intake form in your order confirmation email, or again, by visiting the Measurement Central tab at bisontrack.com. This is an online form that allows you to record each measurement and then hit submit. No need to email us numbers, no need to write anything down. You simply submit these measurements, they attach directly to your file automatically. And finally, maybe the most important tip, just relax. If you watch this video, if you let us help you through the process, you're gonna do just fine. The most important thing here is just to watch this video all the way through with your measurement partner and be educated before you get into the virtual call with your gear customization specialist. We can only do so much watching you and helping coach you through the process. So you need to be educated before going into that call. This video is going to help you with that. Now let's talk about some overall tips and notes as we prepare to start here. The first thing is we are going to be measuring in centimeters, not inches. Do not measure in inches and try to convert it to centimeters. We won't accept that. Tip number two is we're going to be measuring in half centimeter increments, so keep that in mind. And number three, don't stress, don't overthink the process. Once again, just don't be afraid to remeasure two or three times if you have to, nothing wrong with that. Now let's go ahead and get started by putting an undersuit on. Could be a t-shirt, shorts, undersuit like Carter's wearing here. Whatever you wear under your suit, that's what we want you to wear for these measurements. That includes a back protector or an air vest. We'll start with measurement number one, the neck circumference. Now this one is a very simple measurement. Obviously we go right around the base of the neck, but this is the only measurement out of all of these that we are going to take somewhat loose. You can see here, I put the tip of my finger in between the tape and the base of Carter's neck. We are not measuring this like a tuxedo where it's very tight, I'm measuring it a little bit loose. You can see here how I read the tape going forward. It's gonna be right where the metal ends at that number. Measurement number two, the neck to shoulder. That's going to be the collar. As you bring your finger down, you're gonna feel that shoulder drop off and probably feel that shoulder socket. If you can't feel that on your person, then you can mark directly above the armpit. The key here is marking that spot with a piece of chalk or tape so we are consistent going forward. That's not a critical measurement, but it will be in the future. Measurement three, upper torso circumference. So these next few measurements are very simple. There's a couple key points to remember. So first of all, have the wearer put their arms in the air, bring the tape around them, nipple level. Bring to the front, stand up nice and straight, breathe normally, but the measurer needs to make sure the tape is level front to back. Make sure it's not sagging down and skewing this number. Okay, so once it's level front to back, you confirm that, record the number at the front. Again, have it snug. Measurement number four is the same thing, but we're gonna drop down below the breasts, right in the middle of the torso. Again, the key here, nice and snug, but make sure the tape is level from front to back. Measurement number five, lower torso circumference. We're gonna take this one right at the navel level. So right around the belly at navel level. Make sure your tape's level, record your number. Super simple. Measurement six, the hip circumference, can be a little bit tricky. Here's what I like to do. I like to look down the side of the wearer's body, find the widest point of their butt, and that's where I put the tape. You can see here that Carter's back protector goes down over his butt a little bit, so I include that in the measurement, pull it snug, and that's your number. Now measurements seven and eight for the thigh circumference, we're gonna have the wearer crouch like they're on their motorcycle. That's gonna flex their thighs. And take the tape, run it up, in between their legs as far as up as you can. Make sure the tape is level and pull it tight. You can see a different angle here. We're gonna have it up as far, far as we can without the undersuit interfering with it. Pull it snug and uh, get our upper thigh circumference. Then we're gonna scoot it down and we're gonna take the lower thigh circumference for measurement eight. This is right above the knee. And again, just pull it snug and there's your measurement. There's your measurement, super simple. So two measurements for the kneecap. The first one, 9A, is going to be your knee circumference straight. Now we're gonna put this right around the center of the knee, pull it around taut, that's your number there. But for the bent circumference, we're going to have the wearer put their foot up on a chair and kind of do a Captain Morgan pose. That's what I like to refer to it as. Bring the tape around the back of the knee, out to the front, pull it tight, 
That's your measurement for 9B. Now the calf circumference, measurement number 10, this one's a little bit tricky, and this is an important tip here. Everybody has a different point of their calf that's widest, and it can be deceiving. So what I like to do is start at the top of the calf, right below the knee, pull the tape around, and then just incrementally move the tape down and re-record my measurement. Once I find the widest point, I scoot the tape back into that position, and that's the one I record, the widest point of the calf. Now for measurement number 11, the ankle circumference, we are again going to mark a point on the body. What we're gonna do is start by finding the ankle bone. And then we're gonna go two fingers up above the ankle bone. That's where we're going to effectively have the suit end. I want you to mark that point with a piece of chalk or a piece of tape. And that's usually the smallest point of the ankle, right below that tape. So when you find the smallest point of the ankle, record that, that's your measurement number 11. Now for number 12, we're gonna go back up to that tape mark or chalk mark on the shoulder we made earlier. And we're gonna measure from that point down to the elbow, hold the tape at the elbow, bring your finger down and then run your thumb back down to the wrist bone, just past the wrist bone. Once your thumb bumps over the wrist bone, that's what you wanna record. Now this is just how I do it. We're measuring the overall arm length. So just relax down to the side. We're gonna go down again to the elbow, hold it there and then turn the corner and bump down past the wrist bone. Now you can see here, right past that ulna bone, if I hold my finger, Carter bends his wrist, my finger fits right in between his ulna and his hand. Now we move on to the first of our critical measurements. That's measurement number 13. This is collar to navel on the front of the body, and it's super easy, but it is an important one. I'm gonna start by marking his belly button and then finding the dimple at the top of the sternum. It's usually right where the collar is. Now measure from that point down to the belly button. So, dimple at the top of the sternum, down to the center of the belly button, but then make sure you have the wearer stay there. You're going to run the tape from the belly button down to the floor. Keep that number in mind. I like to hold the tape right there, as you can see. Just have the wearer turn their back to you and then bring the tape up from the floor to the same point. This is going to mark their navel on their back. If their feet are in the same position, if they're standing nice and straight, you'll have a very accurate back navel mark. And that takes us to our next critical measurement, which is number 14, collar to navel on the back. What we're going to do is find the bone at the base of the neck, and that's usually right there at the collar. Place the tape at the bone, at the collar, and run it right down to that navel point on the back. Make sure they're standing up straight again, and there's your number 14 measurement. Again, that's a critical one. So 13 and 14 are going to locate the upper torso of the suit. The measurement 15 is going to be shoulder to shoulder. What we're going to do is find that piece of tape or chalk that we marked on step two. We're gonna bring the tape across the top of the shoulders, down at the base of the neck there, and go over to their opposite shoulder. Now, if you have a back protector or air vest in this area, just measure right over it. We want to include that as well. So getting the arm measurement started, we're going to work from the bicep down. This one's very easy. Take the dominant arm, have the wearer flex, and go around the widest point of the bicep. Pull it taut, there you go. Now the elbow, we're going to take two measurements like we did with the knee. We're going to start with the straight measurement. As you can see here, arm straight out, right around the center of the elbow, and then we're going to bend it. Now we don't want it bent too far that it pushes the tape out. Just kind of bend it at a 90 degree angle and bring the tape around right around the tip of the elbow, and there you have it. The forearm measurement, we want to take flexed, but we don't want to gooseneck it or exaggerate this too much. What I do is have the wearer put their arm straight out, make a fist, and then squeeze. And we want to find the widest point of the forearm, just like we did with the calf here. You might have to move the tape around a little bit, find the widest point, and record that. Measurement number 19 is super simple. We're going to go right around the wrist bones. So just have the wearer put their arm out. If the undersuit cuff is there, we wanna include that as well. Just take the tape right around the wrist bones, nice and tight. Now we're going to move on to the overall length measurements. Starting with number 20, this is the top of the shoulder at the base of the neck down to the ankle. And you can see here where I'm pointing, think of it where the shirt uh, seam would meet the collar at the top of the shoulder. That's where we wanna start the tape, right up there at the top. Make sure the wearer is standing nice and straight and bring the tape straight down to the point on the ankle. What we're gonna do here is just taking the overall length of the suit from the top of the shoulder down to where it's going to end at the ankle. Now we're going to take that same point at the top of the shoulder and measure down to the kneecap. I like to put a thumb above the kneecap and a forefinger below the kneecap, 
kind of feel that out and then go right to the center. You can mark this with a piece of chalk or tape. That's what I would recommend doing here so you have consistent measurements moving forward. Now we're going to do this again, but we're going to take it from navel level. So again, measure down to the floor, make sure you've got an accurate number. Then go to the side of the wearer's body. That's going to give you your navel point on the side. Take the tape, nice and straight, nice and taut, right to the ankle point. Okay, so navel to ankle point, that's what we've got. We have a nice consistent navel mark and we're good to go there. Measurement 23, we're taking navel level to the center of the knee. So I like to move the tape over a little bit, right in front of the leg, and again, bring it down, measure right to the center of the kneecap. You can use your thumb and finger like I'm doing here, or you can use your mark. That's the best way to do it, mark the kneecap and get a nice consistent measurement. Now let's move back up to the arm. We're going to take measurement 24 and 25. These are the segmented measurements of the arm. So just put the wearer's arm at a 90 degree angle next to their body. And we're gonna start at that mark on the shoulder. Once again, roll the tape around the back side of the arm and go to the very tip of the elbow. That's measurement 24. But then for 25, I want you to try to start the tape in the exact same point. So what I like to do is hold the tape there at that point, bring it back down to zero, and start from that measurement number so we have an exact zero point. And we're gonna take it then down the forearm with our thumb and bump just past his wrist bone, past his ulna, like we did on measurement 12 when we took the overall arm length. That's your number there. Now measurement 26, it's another one of those critical measurements, right? The inseam, this is the leg length. So the first thing I want you to do is have the wearer pull their undersuit or undergarment up as far as they can so it doesn't hinder this measurement. Now you're gonna get intimate, you're gonna take that tape, stick the metal part all the way up as far as it'll go between their legs, measure down to the ankle point. If you're not comfortable doing that, that's no problem. Have the wearer take the tape and stick the metal part up as far as it can go. Make sure that they're standing nice and straight, feet shoulder width apart, and then you bring it down and mark it at the ankle. Okay, I think you're ready now for the most critical measurements in the whole process, and that is 27 and 28. So 27 is your overall torso length. It is hugely critical in the fitment of a suit. And what I want you to do is hold the tape, have the wearer hold the tape right at the front collar, that dimple at the top of the sternum, and then bring it down between their legs and around. And you go to the back and pull it up. We want this snug. We want it to be comfortable, not giving a wedgie, but it needs to be all the way up against the wearer's body. You're probably gonna run out of tape here. Most tapes stop at 152. So I will hold the tape at 150, have the wearer drop the front, and then bring the tape up and start it over. So start it at 150, and then go up to the base of their neck. You're gonna feel that bone right around their collar area. That's what we wanna to measure to. Okay, and now you can add that dimension. So if we stopped it at 150, and let's say we added 12 centimeters here, 162 would be your measurement. Measurement 28 is the lower torso length. We're gonna take this again underneath the legs, but we're gonna go navel to navel. So I want you to recheck your navel marks. Make sure that they're consistent from navel to floor. Once you confirm that your back navel level is accurate, start at the front, bring it around, and go to the back point. Feet shoulder width apart, stand up nice and straight, mark it, look down the side, see if you're level front to back. If it looks good, then go ahead and record that number 28. Take a moment, pat yourself on the back, and let's move on to the easy ones. Measurement 29, center of the kneecap down to the ankle. We're truly on the home stretch here. This small segment of leg is just a kind of a backstop measurement for the rest of the leg measurements to make sure the suit sits in the right place on the legs. Measurement number 30 is the armhole. The only time this one's a little bit tricky is if you have a Tech Air Alpine Stars vest on. Uh, the shoulders are kind of bulky. It can be hard to measure this, but just kind of pull it taut as much as you can and just, you're gonna go straight over the top of the armpit. It's very simple. Bring the tape below the arm, arm down to your side, straight over the top, and record that armhole opening. Congratulations, you have made it to the end of the Bison Measurement Session. Now, that being said, if you're a female customer or a Powered by Helite Airhide customer, we do have a couple of additional measurements that we need from you. Don't worry, don't stress, these are going to be very simple compared to what we just did. But we're going to start with the female measurements because we build bison female suits very specifically. We try to build them very comfortably to your anatomy. So we're going to start by measuring above the bust, the torso circumference. And I understand Carter's not a female here, but you can see we've brought the tape up, tighten his armpits, and above the bust as much as possible. 
the next two steps we are going to use to center your bust. So I want you to point to the center of your bust, the nipples is the best reference point, and then measure nipple to nipple. That will tell us the dimension side to side. Now we're going to have you continue to point to your nipple or center of your bust, measure from the base of the neck at the top of the shoulder down to nipple level. This will allow us to construct your bison suit to be very comfortable on your anatomy. And finally, if you selected the Powered by Helite Air Height option, I want to congratulate you because you've made an excellent decision. You're going to have a state-of-the-art Helite E-Vest integrated right into your bison suit prior to delivery. All we need to do here is just take one additional measurement to figure out what size air bladder needs to be installed in your bison suit. As you can see here, we have two measurements. Measurement A is the base of the neck to the tailbone. You'll take that one on your back from that bone at the base of your neck down to your tailbone. Measurement B is your waist circumference, and we already did that with measurement number five earlier in the session. That's gonna tell us which sock or which bladder size needs to go into your suit, a small medium or a large XL. It's as simple as that. Now, I wanna thank you personally for taking the time to watch this video entirely with your measurement partner, study the information. Hopefully you took some notes. If you didn't, that's okay, but Please document any questions that you have right now while they're fresh on your mind. Write down any questions so that you can bring those to the virtual measurement session and ask your gear customization specialist. We understand you're not a professional and this is kind of a nerve wracking situation for you, but we are the pros and we will help you once we get in the video call. Now at this point in the process, you can go back to your order confirmation emails, fill out the fitment guarantee checklist and schedule your virtual measurement session with your GCS. When we do that, your gear customization specialist will join you on a video call and they will be there to answer any questions that you have and make observations while you take the measurements with your measurement buddy. Once you've completed the virtual measurement session, you'll be protected by our comprehensive fitment guarantee, which is one of the best in the industry. And it's why we have such a great reputation when it comes to getting people in great fitting suits. With all of that out of the way, I just wanna say thank you so much for your business. And I wanna be the first to say welcome to the herd.